Minds and Spirits log a night review sort of thing. So tonight it's Joseph Holt's Diamond Log that just about won the um the bar's rocking. When it when it's rocking, don't come knocking. But anyway, yeah. Joseph Holt's Diamond Log of 5%. Never had this before, so I will read the back. Because, um, to be fair, I know nothing of it. It's an award-winning premium lager brewed in Manchester, of all places. It is absolutely Baltic in here now. I'm freezing. So, when we get about 10 minutes in, let everybody come to the room, them that are going to come. I haven't heard any notifications yet, so I think the notifications aren't working this time. But, hey, um, okay, now the line's crap. Uh, Diamond is a refreshing premium lager. Uh, oh, I can't read it. Brewed in the heart of Manchester. Gold medal winner at the International Brewing Awards in 2013 and 2017. Founded by Joseph Holt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Contains barley. Good evening. So, I'll use the same glass again. Morrison's. I've never seen this one in Morrison's, to be fair. Ah, so, <laughs> yes, indeedy. <laughs> so, I'll just put the uh, pop-up chat over here as well, because it's going to be funny. But maybe. Depends on you. Help by answering one question, YouTube. Fuck off. <clears throat> yeah, but you know, it only comes... It only comes in the dinkiest of bloody bottles. That's the only down it. And it comes in a sh basically a one-shot bottle. It's 58%. So Brewmeister is stronger, snake venom. But um it's funny, you know, you know with these strongest beers. Um because some because some are brewed with uh, fermented and some are brewed using distillation. They don't class them as actual proper beers. In in actual fact, that above twenty three percent, you're not fermenting. So twenty three percent is the top you can go for fermenting. Above twenty three percent, you're either in, you're either using you must be using distillation to get above twenty three percent. As far as I remember, at least. No, you haven't, no. no. And welcome back, matey. I used to work on Sainsbury's on the BWS. Yeah. Uh, they're treating you well. Supermarket staff get the shit under the stick sometimes. Good to see Asda updating their craft beer range at last. I bet you're well pleased. I did go for a slash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I'll just pour this one out and then... It's 14 of us in. Yeah, I think uh, we'll pour it out. We'll, we'll give it a good look at the beer, the lager. And then I'll I'll get the package out. The package. So Manchester. Manchester have got some good breweries. Good traditional breweries. Robinson's. Joseph Holt. And uh, whoever else. I don't know. Don't live there. <clears throat> so lighter golden pour good carbonation um five mils of head i used to love working on the bws i really did my you know it was an amazing department but managers i can't stand absolute fucking assholes marble arch so on the nose a sweet nose to it. I'm not getting a typical lager malt aroma. Although it's disappeared now. Oh, that's bitey. That's got some bite to it, that has. Whoa. So, I haven't actually opened this package up. But there's 17 of us here now, so that's good enough. I wasn't going to wait till 10 minutes, but sod it. 
So, this came the other day, and uh, I'll open it this way because my address is on the other side. And it says, Raggy's tap room at the bottom of the garden. And I thought, I know who sent this, I knew straight away. And then I'm like, what the hell is this then? So, oh yeah, that was one package. Yep, there's two packages. And uh, I thought, what the fuck? So I'm like, what's this? I hope it's not real. <laughs> Ugh, oh, jeez, that's wrong. <laughs> it's the dog shit review. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> okay, no. <laughs> Turd. Oh, look at that. Eh? <laughs> That's just fucking hilarious, isn't it? So I've not even opened the glasses. So uh oh. no, there's no there's no corona on these me trying to I know poor dog. <laughs> it does look real, doesn't it? Right, here we go. Mm. Oh, fucking hell. Jesus. It's like 3D. Oh, shit. <laughs> shit. Uh, fucking hell. Fucking hell. Can everybody see out of them? <laughs> good evening, Tad. I could just about make your name out. Hold on a minute. Yeah, good evening. Fucking hell. I'll tell you what. He was wearing these... If you was wearing these beer goggles, you um, everything look, would look great in these goggles. Oh my god, my head! Fucking hell, it's not up in my eyes. So anyway, oh, oh dear, oh, Mr. Biggles, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, there you go, everyone. I hope no one's eating the dinner. Look at that shit. Look at that. That's proper, sh proper shite, that is. Yeah. Anyway, that was funny. I, en I enjoyed that. It's supposed to smell like shit. Liam's adding a photo again. <laughs> <laughs> and to be fair, just like you would in the pub, you have a laugh, don't you? It's what it's all about. Life's what it's all about. 12? No, no, no. Last one tonight. No. I'm already at quarter past nine, which means when I get to half nine, I'm in for I'm, I'm in for the bollocking. The thumbnail for YouTube. I you know, I, I have not even worked out how you do thumbnails and all that other stuff. <laughs> Move with the glasses on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You've got to have a sense of humour, haven't you? Yeah, that's what it's all about. Not taking yourself self, ugh, you're taking yourself too seriously. I'll tell you what, I feel walloped on these three beers. I know it's fucking it's decent shit, that isn't it? It's good shit. <laughs> I might take that to work one day and uh put it in front of at work, put it in front of the door and uh turn around when the bot when I know the boss is coming and turn around and say Look at that, some dirty dog's been here. It's disgusting, that is. And just get just to get him to laugh. And he's got a good sense of humour, so I know he will. I might even put it in the hallway tonight and uh, go back up the house if, if they're downstairs. No, even if the wife's upstairs, I might, um, I might put it in the hallway and say... Oh, God, what's Charlie done? <laughs> and uh, put it in the hallway upstairs when I get when I, when I go in in a minute. I won't video it, but I'll tell you about it tomorrow. Put it in the hallway. Let, let the dog take the fucking blame and say, oh, the dog's done a shit. And uh, just to see both my son's and my wife's faces. Yeah, 
It's got to be done, hasn't it? You know. Oh. Anyway, uh, back to the lager. Lovely, um, sweet, fruity lager. Very interesting. Very nice lager. Um, not a typical Carling Foster's, you know, that sort of stuff. Certainly more um, like a traditional berry lager, in my opinion. Yeah. <laughs> it's got to be done, you know. I'll probably get a thump off the wife, but hey ho. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, fuck that. <laughs> oh. I've got 10 minutes, that's good. So I like this, a nice fruity beer. And uh, for everyone in the background, look, dirty bleeder, look at that. Fucking hell, it smells like poo and all. And eating dinner, eating dinner, <laughs> shitting it. <laughs> oh, it's proper my sense of humour as well. So, you know, I can't help it. It's just, it's just the way I am. Slap it on your forehead. No, <laughs> I'm not going down that far. Some cunt will take a photo and put it on the internet. No, I like this. It's nice. I mean, with Joseph Holt, Maple Moon was an amazing beer. Wasn't overly struck on, was it Maple Gold? Um, and, but this, this is a nice lager. Yeah, I've got another one of their lagers um, over there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the Spanner thing, um, they're moderators. <laughs> yeah. The Spanners are for moderators. We had we had a time when there were some children, ch there was children, or idiots, one of the two, spamming the chat, being, you know, you don't come on beer reviews to, to start spamming. And people do, you know, whether they disliked me or anything. And I don't know. And so put moderators on just to stop anything happening. It kind of it kind of stops the idiots spoiling it for everybody else. Although some of these people probably are spanners in real life that I wouldn't really know, but you know. <laughs> I'm the I'm the shit. The shit. <clears throat> oh. Yeah, they ought to be beer bottles, didn't they, instead of spanners. A beer bottle would be much better. <laughs> so it's been a good lager night. I've enjoyed tonight. It's it's different because with lager, you know what you're getting with lager. You know you're getting crisp, refreshing, 6.5% cider. And how's your stomach with that? Are you feeling any different with the cider over the over the um, beers? Sometimes, you know, it might be the fact that the yeast is playing you up. You might have a tolerance to yeast. So if you know if you're drinking a real ale or something yeasty uh, and it's playing your stomach up, it might be there's a, a bit of an intolerance to yeast. Trust me, it's a thing. Uh, I've got a mate and he could not drink too many real ales. No, <laughs> no, I can't either. No. Yeah, I'm doing a spirit review day tomorrow. I just missed, nearly missed your comment there. Yeah, yeah. Do apologise. Sometimes there's too many comments, and I've had a drink as well. So, fucking, <clears throat> it burns. But oh well. Miles, we're we're from the same tree. <laughs> we're from the. Fuck it, tree. Perfect Storm. Bless you. I had that the other week. I've done a review of Perfect Storm. It was okay. I liked it. Yeah. 
eight o'clock. Yeah, same same time tomorrow, eight o'clock, and uh, I'll choose the first one myself, and then we'll probably do f as many as four because they're all dinky bottles, so we can go four or even five, as long as you don't get me on the bloody solid spirits. If I'm on ready to drink, it's always a good one. Yeah, what I'm, if I come down the shed later, I'll do, I'll do, I'll do. If I come down the shed later, I'll do a quick video of all the spirits that I've got, or options, and see see what comes first. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I've got the um, Swari. I haven't got a lot, to be honest, but... Um, What the shit? <laughs> shit. Yeah. <laughs> and welcome. Yes. Yeah. I hope you're not eating. You know, it's. Uh, I do apologise if you're eating. You know, it's, it's not nice to see shit. <laughs> I'm off step toe and son. <clears throat> I'll try and do a, a boomer now, do. I'll do. Is that better? <clears throat> Nottingham accent. You never. You, I'm never going to get a northern accent. You know. Four point five. Nearly there. Oh. I'll do. <laughs> Sounds like a day, doesn't it? Proper northern. <laughs> Good evening, Hugh. How are you, matey? And uh, Hugh the Bear Kid he is one awesome individual. Um, a Yorkshire gentleman. Sounds like a Yorkshire gentleman, you know, if you can, find his reviews on YouTube. Uh, you'll love his reviews. His accent is absolutely awesome. And he's going to be a teacher next year in Poland, as if I remember correctly. What with the I'll do? <laughs> Sounds like my pain. He has, he has got a brilliant accent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And... More importantly, he can drink some beer. He's a beer drinking god. Jesus Christ. I would not want to go drinking with him. Yeah. I, I mean, I'll drink anything. That's just the person I am. Yeah, you're a good lad. You're a good lad. I watched you on, obviously, I've been on there on Craig's. What's Craig's want it? When you was on, was it Craig's or was it Rampant's? I think it might have been Rampant's actually. Rampant Lions. And uh, when you was on his chat. And uh, yeah, you're a good lad, mate. <laughs> I won't be able to match anyone. I'm probably the I'm I'm probably the biggest lightweight than you can imagine. Yeah, ten pints and I'm knackered. So, oh, I've still got five minutes. Job's a good one. <clears throat> I've got an half nine curfew. Don't wanna, you don't want to piss the wife off, do you? Yeah, you know. Yeah, it's 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 decent. And uh, welcome back, Barry. So yeah, from Joseph Holt, it's there. I do apologise for the shit. We're not taking any shit on this channel tonight. Look at that shit. But anyway. Put the turd there. Yeah, there. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, it's a nice, it's more of a fruity lager, I think. Golden pour. Um, yeah, definite red card. I'm feeling it as well. These three lagers have absolutely battered me. Fucking hell. I'm ready for a wine later, as you do. You know, like a wine spritzer. 
Diamond Shite. It was a cider. Yeah, yeah. This is Diamond Lager. Thankfully, thankfully it doesn't smell. Um, golden pour. Good carbonation. Little white head on the nose. There's a fruitiness and not a lager malt. As you know, with most lagers, you get some sort of lager malt aroma. And on this, you don't get that. You get a fruity aroma. And we're talking traditional. We're talking lager fruit. We're not talking craft. So, you know, don't expect a fruity lager. It's not like that. And don't expect an Audi lager either, because that, yeah, shit. Um, especially the strawberry, we're jamming. We're jamming. Fucking hell. We're not jamming to fuck all with that. It's nasty. But I do apologise for the profanity and swearing. It's not good. Um, that there is Audi. And that's not a joke either. That's, that's their range. You know, and you can you can quote me on that. <clears throat> I need a dump, put me scoring 4.3. <laughs> but yeah, Joseph Holt, a good traditional brewery based in Manchester. Oh, dear. What are these people talking about going for a poo? It's disgusting. Have you got no morals? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, yeah, good traditional fruity lager and... Uh, uh, there is a lager malt taste to it, but it's, it's in the background compared to typical lagers, to be fair. Yeah, twice as nice is not twice as nice. Whoever named that has taken the piss. Yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe. Then again, they'd have to take every single beer reviewer out there to court because every single beer reviewer has slagged them off. I watched Scott's review and, and he was ranting. I mean, I was bad enough, but Scott was absolutely fuming. A two? No. No. It's a, good, it's a nice enough lager, to be fair. So. Ooh, two minutes. Yeah, the shit's worth a five all day long. I mean, look at that. I mean, that's going up the house later. And uh, you know you're getting the blame, don't you, Dave? <laughs> Mr. Goathead. Look at that turd. That's just disgusting, isn't it? Hey. m and S. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not up the arse, no. I don't do that shit. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to go up the house, put it in the hallway outside the bedroom and say, what the hell? I'm, I'm going to put what the hell has Charlie done? And just to get the wife out of the bed and say, the fuck's that? And uh, I wish I could film it, but if I film it, she'll know. She'll know that I'm taking the piss. So I can't. So I'll have to, I'll have to just do it. And I'll let you know tomorrow. But you know it's going to be dramatic. So that was nice, that was. I enjoyed that. I'm just going to put my cameras on so I can see... Put my cameras on. That's because I'm reading that. I'm just going to put my glasses on so I can see the bottle. So, it, fucking hell, I can't see shit now. Wah. So, um... Oh, I really can't see anything. Okay, now my eyes are killing me. Good evening. Are you all right? Hello. Oh, I can't. My eyes. Oh. They're the shots, the shits, and it that is. How old? <laughs> so, anyway, um, I really like that Joseph Holt Diamond Lord. It was very different. There was a fruity element that you wouldn't get with normal um, traditional lagers. Uh, Reg Oldsworth, yeah, 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 yeah. It did look like it, didn't it? And uh, yeah, with them glasses on. Um, it was, it was an interesting lager. There was a fruity element. We're not, we're not talking craft fruity. We're talking traditional fruity. And 
nice taste to it, good um, lager taste, nice bit of bite in there. Mr. Magoo, definitely Mr. Magoo, all day long. Curly Watts. <laughs> um, out of five, oh, I would say about a 4.2 out of five. Very different. If you ever go to Joseph Holtz and get their 12 beers deal, especially if they're doing it on a, a free delivery, 12 beers, 19 quid free delivery, make sure you get the um, lager. Absolutely worth trying, you know. It's what it's all about, trying beers and lagers from everywhere else. I've seen lots of dirty buggers in the Arbor Eaton. No fourth review. No, no, no. I'm going to bed. Uh, well, upstairs, I've got some shit. I've got some shit to give the wife. <laughs> Look at the state of that. That's ridiculous. Um, thank you, everyone, for watching, commenting, liking, and subscribing. It's been a fun night. Got to say, it's been a fun night. This is what the internet's about. There's a serious side of things. <laughs> There's the serious side of things and then there's the fun side of things and the fun side of things are good. You know, we must always remember that there's too much seriousness in the world. Fuck the news. You know, I don't want about hear, hear anything more about Boris Johnson's fucking bedroom. Who gives a toss? You know, who really gives a flying fuck? I mean, I don't. I don't care. Never have, never will. And, um, you know, all I care about is the money that's coming into my house. I'm not, I don't really care about hotels. Yeah, so spirits night tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck the outside world. <clears throat> yeah, we're all very serious here. Yeah. We don't take shit. <laughs> anyway, spirits night tomorrow. I will post a video later when I'm a little bit more sober of what's on offer. And if people want to comment for the first review, and then we'll do a bit of a, a bit of a, oh God, I'm bursting for a wee wee. We'll do a vote for the second and third reviews like tonight, or maybe even the fourth review, because they're only small. So, oh, right. Thank you, everyone. Cheers, and I'll see you soon. Cheers, all. Oh, Carling. No, tomorrow night.